In this video tutorial, I will examine the new version of RenderAll in Podium 1.7.2. RenderAll in 1.7.2 Windows now works as it was intended. It will render all the scenes in a model without quitting, as it did in previous versions. RenderAll for the Mac has worked well since version 1.7, so it's not necessary to update to 1.7.2 if you use the Mac. RenderAll is designed to help create photorealistic camera animations such as walkthroughs or flythroughs. It will render all the scenes in a model in sequence and save each rendered image in your image folder. However, it processes only the SketchUp geometry of the first scene to save render time, so it is not a good tool to create object animations or for batch rendering. To begin, let's look at this model. This model has 350 SketchUp scenes. It is a walkthrough animation created in SketchUp using SU Animate. SU Animate is a plugin for SketchUp which makes creating animations very easy. I will use SketchUp Scenes Manager to jump to the last scene in the animation and back. It's important to note that all faces that are being rendered should have the front side exposed. Make sure that you have color or texture on all exposed faces. This will give you the best result. Now, let's play the animation in SketchUp to examine what the walkthrough looks like. You can see the walkthrough is fairly complex. Click here to see how this walkthrough was created using SU Animate. Before using Render All, render a few scenes independently to make sure you have all the lighting and reflection the way you want. Next, pick the location for the rendered images. It's recommended that you have a new folder to save your images so that it will be easy to copy the rendered images to your Movie Maker software. From the Resolution Sizes menu, pick the resolution size you want. Also from the Settings, pick the quality and smoothness. Render All will remember all these settings and apply it to every rendered scene. Now choose Render All Scenes and let's start rendering. As you can see, Podium tells me the total number of scenes rendered and how many scenes are in the total model. In this model, it took close to four hours to render all 350 scenes at the resolution and quality I choose. Time to render all scenes will depend a lot on the resolution size, quality, number of scenes, and CPU. Now let's leave SketchUp and Podium and open Live Movie Maker in Windows. Live Movie Maker for Vista in Windows is the latest version of Movie Maker from Microsoft. This is a free application. In Movie Maker, import all rendered images that were saved to your render folder by clicking on Add Photos. As you can see, I have 350 images. Now, I'm going to adjust the transition speed to 0.1 seconds by selecting all the video frames. I can run the movie inside Movie Maker to see what it looks like. Looks good. 
Now I just need to save or publish the video frames to a video format like YouTube or Windows Media. Let's do that. 